Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy Up back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're doing some World Ticket Tournament Summons. Oh sorry, that's World Tournament Ticket Summons here on Global. It's gonna be a super chill video and I do realize that I am extremely late to the party here since the tournament ended about a week ago, but you know what? As I always like to say, better late than never. So let's do this. Now, I'm gonna be honest, at this point, none of these banners are really all that hype to me anymore since I pretty much have every single unit that they have to offer, but I still need dupes, which is why of course we're still summoning, but I guess it doesn't really matter where we start these summons. I definitely feel like these banners are in desperate need of some kind of like overhaul or update, especially this one. Bandai Spies, if you're watching right now. But you know what, with all that said, why don't we start with our DB Saga summons first, get those out of the way, and then get our guaranteed SSRs, and that's gonna be a video, so let's go. Now while we're doing this, I would like to wish all you guys watching right now a uh, very happy Sunday, or I guess if you're watching this later then it's not going to be Sunday, but if you guys are watching it the day that it releases, which you really should, <laughs> then hope you guys are having an awesome weekend and uh, also having a lot of luck in your summons. Of course recently, RNG Jesus and Bandai and Dokkan have decided to bless your boy Tiger, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about then go watch my LR Gohan and Goten summons. Uh, they were really good, really, really good summons, which is kind of a rare thing for me, but I know there are plenty of people out there right now who are still trying their luck, still trying to get that new LR Gohan and Goten, and uh, if you guys are still trying, you know, actually at this point I guess the discounts are already gone, but either way, uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. Hope you guys get the unit that you want, whether it be the new LR or maybe even the physical support Gohan, who is absolutely fantastic as well. Or any of the other units on there, man. It's got some good stuff like SSB Vegeta, uh, you know, STR Ultimate Gohan, Vegito Blue, for example. So overall, I'd say a pretty solid banner. I know when I first talked about it, I wasn't super hyped since it's not the most exciting banner for me personally, right? When I first saw it, I was like, I already have pretty much all of these guys, and you know, I could use some dupes for like Super Saiyan 3 Broly and SSBE, but I was really hoping for units that I didn't have personally. So from my standpoint. I didn't think it was that good of a banner, but I know that for some other people, it is like one of the best banners out there as well, right? So, yo, good luck to everybody. Hope you guys are getting blessed. And that's all I really, all I really gotta say about that. But while we're on the topic of the new LR, and I know I've been talking about this a lot, I just wanna quickly address something for the last time. All right, so still to this day, like today I was on the Reddit and uh, on Instagram and on Facebook a little bit. I know that's kind of dangerous, but <laughs> I still see some people, man, saying that, you know, this new LR, LR Gohan and Goten is, um, you know, not a top tier unit, you know, underwhelming, all that stuff. And I don't want to like, I'm not hating or anything like that. You know, I, I respect all players and, you know, both player bases, all that stuff. Of course, I am personally a global main, but I still play JP too. And I respect the JP side, right? Of course, there are differences in all that stuff. I see that, but... I feel like most of the people who are making these negative comments about the new LR are players who only play the JP side, right? So they're people who didn't really have the chance to test out the LR for themselves and use it for themselves, run, uh, run them on different teams, and just see how they can perform. And they're just basing it off the maybe the opinions of other people that they trust or just you know making an assumption. But <laughs> I, I feel like. It's really just weird and I can't I can't see where they're coming from because when you take a look at this LR, when you've played with it yourself personally, you see that they are definitely a top tier unit in this game, man. And it's not even really up for discussion because without any dupes, right? Just at the free dupe level 55% in the hidden potential system, I have seen people get them up to 9 million attack, right? And that's not even including additionals, which they do have a guaranteed additional, which has a medium chance to become a super as well. So it factored in like the 9 million for the initial ultra super, plus a maybe like three to four million additional uh, super, as well as possibly, you know, activating the, the the active skill in that same, you know, same turn as well. And when you add up those numbers, that is just ridiculous man so let's say like 9 million plus i don't know a couple more million from the additional plus 
uh, I don't, I, it's hard, hard to even say how much attack is generated by the active skill, but it's a lot, right? So, you know, well over 10, 15 million right there for a free dupe, that is, right? And when you have dupes in it as well, then you can get even more additionals. Oh, there we go. We got a, we got a SSR finally. I think I could use that dupe. So there you go. I'll take that. But as I was saying, man, like, I just don't see where these people are coming from, all these haters for this new LR. Uh, I'm not trying to defend it for, for any reason other than that they're a good unit and I feel like they deserve some more respect for some people. It's not just like because they're global exclusive at the moment, I feel like I have to defend it because it was really a bad unit. It really was underwhelming. I would say that, man. You guys know me. I mean, if you guys are just watching me for the first time, I guess you don't know me in that way, but uh, my long-term viewers know that I always try to provide you guys with as honest and accurate analysis as possible. I can't guarantee that what I say is always correct or anything like that. I own up to that. I own up to that. I do make mistakes quite often, but... Oh, we got Super Saiyan 3. Nice. Um, you know, I'm just trying to say, like, I try to... What are the chances of that happening? Damn, okay. Back to back Kami. Um, alright, alright. But... I do always try my best, and I can say that for a fact. So, anyways, I feel like overall, as far as units in this game goes, LR Gohan and Goten is definitely in the top five. Um, they might be in the top three, honestly, for damage output wise. Just like for damage output, that is. And, uh, you know, they're good tanks. They uh, do a crap ton of damage. They're great leaders, too. They have two leader skills uh, Goku's Family, which is a fantastic category, as well as Siblings Bond, which is. Still really good too, it's got the Beerus's, and that's mainly what I've used from that, you know, the, the Tech Beerus and the LR Beerus as a rotation, super, super powerful, but also like Bula, for example, or a couple Trunks's, some Vegeta's out there, uh, yeah, it's a really good category too, so, for all those reasons and more, I gotta say it, man, they're, they're top tier for me, they are in the top 5, at least top 10, I gotta probably say top 5 of best units in this game right now, and that's just my opinion, let me know in the comments down below, what you guys think. If you guys disagree with me, don't get mad, all right? I respect everybody's opinions out there. So if you guys want to have a different opinion, that's okay too, man. It's not like I'm saying that my opinion is correct. I'm just saying that's what it is. And I don't really see the perspective of other people out there who are like, we're like hating, right? <laughs> but I know I've talked about this a lot. I'm probably going to stop after this video. But since we're doing these summons and the summons themselves are not super exciting. Oh, yo, I almost thought we got a Vegito. Um, it, like, it like paused for a second, didn't it? Anyways, since the summons themselves are not super exciting, I feel like it's a good opportunity to talk about some things. And this has been kind of a hot topic anyways, recently this weekend for the Dokkan community. If you guys are on Reddit, you guys will see a lot of posts about this stuff. So I just wanted to talk about it in this video. And uh, of course, I mean, <laughs> I might be slightly biased because of like, I, I love the unit. I've used it a lot myself and I did manage to pull it. But I would like to think that even if I didn't pull it myself and I don't have them in my box, that I would still try to tell you guys the truth. And that would be, they're awesome. They're, they're monsters. They really are. Like, once again, let me reiterate. Up to 9 million attack with, uh, with no dupes. All, all it takes is two supports. One being the new physical Gohan as well as their full passive active. So you get 10 attacks off in total. They get the full buff on their passive. And you will see numbers like that, man. Under, of course, once, uh, double 170 leads as well. So there you go. If you guys don't believe me, then go, you know, maybe look up some showcase videos or maybe check out the Reddit. But it, it's definitely true, man. They can they can get that high of an attack. Vegito? Hmm. You know, I, it doesn't really matter because there's no LRs or like Dokov as exclusives. But it'd be still cool. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, can you get a Vegito fusion on these... And it's probably not, right? Since there's no LRs or Dokkan Fest exclusives. And I'm pretty sure that's what Vegito means, at least. At the very least, a Dokkan Fest exclusive, so... Uh, I don't know why I've been asking for Vegito, actually. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being stupid, man. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong and... You can get a fusion, but I'm pretty sure now you can't. Like I said, no, no Dokkan Fest, no LR, but yeah. That's all I wanted to talk about, guys. That's been on my mind, and that's the last I'm pretty much going to say, unless we're on a stream or something and people want to bring it up, you know, which LRs are better than what or how good the new LR is. But, you know, regardless of how 
it stacks up against the other Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs or or non summonable or, or non summonable uh, non Dokkan Fest LRs. Um, even like it doesn't matter how how well they stack up right now. All I'm saying is they're extremely good. But if we were to talk about where they stack, I'd say uh, they're probably just under, just below LR Goku and Frieza, and below LR Kale and Khalifa, and probably close to, but maybe slightly lower than the LR Super Saiyan fours from the 40th anniversary, but. It's probably not that big of a disparity, if I'm being honest. So that's what I feel. Like I said, I can't say that everything I say is fact, but I do believe that it's pretty accurate. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Now we got all of these tickets out of the way. We only got two SSRs out of all those summons, which is to be expected because at the end of the day, they're just regular summons. But let's do our guaranteed SSRs now. I feel like I'm just going to split them out between this banner and this banner since... Like I said, man, neither of them are really that hype. It doesn't really matter where I spend my tickets. Uh, let's go here first. We're going to do one gold ticket each, and then we're going to go back and forth with silvers. And that's going to be a video. Hope you guys enjoyed the discussion, by the way. Don't hate me too much if you disagree. Like I said, it's all just healthy discussion. It's healthy discussion. Some people are getting pretty mad about it on the Reddit. And there's just no need, really. At the end of the day, it's just a game. And of course, we like to talk about... Ooh, hold on. Do I have this Gohan? I I might not have this Gohan actually. He's a he's a support. Okay. All right. I'm not sure if I have him. If I don't, that's awesome. There we go. Okay. Let's keep going. But um, yeah, we're just like, but you know, talk, try to talk about a game that we all love. But there's there's no need to get hostile about it, man. Some people I think take it a little bit too far. Most people don't. Most people realize. We're just talking about a game, it's all good, even if people have different opinions, and we can respect each other's opinions, right? But yeah, there are some out there who are a little bit overboard, but I'm not gonna, you know, say any names, anything like that, um, <laughs> because there's no need, no, no need to call people out. Okay, so two pretty solid units. Let's go over to the other banner and see what we can get over here. I do need more of the Gohan. I need a couple more of Adele's actually, surprisingly. I, I thought that I had rainbowed all the waifus, but I still need Three dupes of the Fidel actually. So the AGL Mai is rainbowed, and I think the oh, Pan is also rainbowed. So pretty much the only waifu, the only new waifu awakening that I don't or still need dupes for is the Fidel. So I would like to get at least one copy of her here, which is kind of weird considering like before the awakenings were a thing, nobody wanted any of the waifus, right? But they ended up getting really, really good awakenings, and I do appreciate Bandai for doing that, man. Like just taking these old very much not usable or just like limited use units and giving them awakenings that actually make them really really good so yeah thanks to the Bandai for that and easy A's too man like easy A's are freaking amazing like look at how good right now even the family Kamehameha units are after their easy A's the Goten, the Goku, and the Gohan they're all extremely usable they all uh, are you know can be optimal on certain teams and they are like coming up on three years old. So the fact they can make a three year old unit that you pulled maybe at the beginning of your Dokkan career when you first started your game. And oh my god. See, this is one of those guys that really needs an awakening, man. Like this guy is so old and he's consistently been trash. Like what Bandai, what is this guy getting an awakening? I think he might actually have a Dokkan awakening maybe. But he needs like some kind of easy eight. Maybe he doesn't actually. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong Goku. Either way, doesn't matter. This guy needs to be better, but <laughs> coming back to what I was talking about with like easy A's and stuff, um, I love that, man. I do really love the fact that they are making these like really old units that no one re really runs anymore and turning them into top tier units once again. Because of course, when these guys are released, like when uh, someone like, I, I, I don't know why I'm even blanking, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, when he was first released, he was absolutely top tier, right? And then over time, he kind of dropped off and then they did the EZA for him and he became, once again, a top tier unit in this game and still is to this day. So that's awesome. I don't know why, for some reason, when I first saw the silhouette, I was like, yo, LR Mighty Mask? <laughs> right, it makes no sense. There's no LRs on this banner. I know that. Intuitively, I know that. But just in my mind, there was some part of me that was like, yo, did I, did I pull LR Mighty Mask? And 
course we did it. But anyways, uh, still a still a decent unit. Let's keep going. Last ticket, guys. Uh, feel free to do a group summon with me if you want to. I mean, if you're still summoning for Gohan and Goten, then maybe I could give you some luck here. We are guaranteed an SSR, so maybe you're gonna be guaranteed something good as well in your summons. I'm gonna put down here. Feel free to summon with me in three, two. That's weird. Three, two. What? Let it rip. There we go, guys. Last summon of the video. What can we get? What can we get? Super Saiyan 2. Hope you guys are pulling LR Gohan and Gotens left and right. Okay, we're getting a uh, Z Sword. It's Z Sword, right? Z Sword Gohan. All right. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you. Ooh, new day. Awesome. Yo, what can we get? Did we get anything, anything exciting? No, it's just one stone. I miss those days, man. I miss those like 13, 14, 50 stone days, but <laughs> can't have them every day. So there we go. We got one stone and those were our summons, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys did like this video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. But that's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Media. signing out.